headed to the airport yet again with baby. <clears throat> Exciting though. Yeah, last night was a long night for me because I didn't want to go to sleep. And then I almost had a heart attack this morning because I woke up at 7 a.m. and Lex wasn't beside me in the bed, exhausted. I had to get up so I can be ready. I was ready at 7.13, ready to go. So I heard, I called her phone, I panicked for a second, and then I heard the shower go off, so I went to the bathroom. And there she was. Okay. I, <laughs> I can't wait, wake up. No, not not wake up. Just don't not let me know you're in the bed. Or when you wake up, at least say something. Something like there. Or when you come home. I did say something. But obviously I was asleep. Okay, so what do you Did I wake up? Yes. And what did I say? You was you popped up and I was like, Hey baby, I'm here. It's just me because you were you got startled and then she was you was like, Okay. I said I love you and you went to sleep. Yeah, I don't remember that. Okay. <laughs> this, morning, this morning my alarm went off at six thirty five. I knew you didn't want to get up then. So my alarm went off again at 6.50. And so I was like, you got 10 minutes to end the bed. Well, that is a very rare occurrence when I don't remember shit or I don't wake up. So, yeah. Watch me pull up. 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 Watch me pull up with my team. Pull up with my niggas. Pull up with the link. Pull up with the liquor, pull up with my team, pull up with the figures, pull up with yeah. my niggas, pull up with uh. the liquor. I used to fuck around with them ratchet girls. Got introduced to all of them ratchet fucking cousins. Rode around that 803 with all of them. They talked about the weed, I told them I know nothing. He's about to fall out. Back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all over. Made it to Canada. We have made it to Calgary. We are staying at an Airbnb. It's about 61 degrees outside. Uh, rolling in the minivan. About to go see what the house looks like. So this is the house, living room. Um, dining room, kitchen, but not with that. Three. <laughs> there is the bathroom. This is my room, which I claimed. You already know. Nice little window, nice sunlight. This is Bree's room. Then we got the downstairs man cave. It's a little, um, a little brisk out here, you know. American got on short sleeves, and uh, you know everybody else. You know, little, little, um, is this how you get in? Yeah. I thought they stopped making Walmart's this color. Old school Walmart. Free Walmart. internet. What the fuck is up with this? This is awesome. Good morning, vloggers. Currently in the process of making me some breakfast, which today is going to consist of oatmeal and orange juice. Bam. Maple and brown sugar. I don't trust people, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch this anyway. About to do a warm up lap. Just gonna start to get loose. And oh. then freeze up again. Yeah, loose and then freeze up because we're gonna do some ice training today. I was trying to figure out how they were gonna do that because it's not like we could push that shit and ride it for an hour. Yeah. So it makes <laughs> sense that they will have some shit like that. This is Wind Sport Canada Olympic Park training facility. Something like that. <laughs> you look so focused. <laughs> I'm just visualizing. Like, is that? I feel asleep. 
Oh, that hill? Yeah. Hell yeah. We are in the ice house. Right now, just walking around. This is the Canadian gym that we have no access to again because it's the Canadian gym. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm supposed to, if we're allowed to record in here, but I'm going to. <laughs> Somebody tells me not to do it. So far, because. Oh, I'm winded, but I feel comfortable, I feel good. How about you, Nakia? How does it feel to be a boss? Uh, it's better on ice than it is on track. It is, it's better on ice. I will say that, it's better on ice. Oh, yeah. How was your ice experience? It was great. Well, really fast. <laughs> According to your Snapchat. <laughs> So Ryan, how was your ice experience? Terrible. Fell on my face. Got some stars. Are you gonna Are you gonna shout yourself out? Oh, shout out! I don't need one. Shout out to the six. Six. I tried to give their cafe a chance. Uh, their cafe a chance. But off the subway we go. We're out and about, you know what I'm saying? About to show love. Miles, <laughs> miles <laughs> at the Market Mall in Canada. Hey! <laughs> so, I think we're finally leaving the mall now. Ryan has a bath and body works bag in his hand. He claims that he's gonna cook his dinner tonight, so we'll see what's on the menu. Got that masterpiece. No limit, baby. Can you that black car? No limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit. First off, 50. 50 Canadian dollars, which is like. Rip one. Try to rip one. You can... Come on, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. On the way to lunch now. Competition, competition, competition day. A, A, stay tuned. <laughs>
breakfast or whatever and I forgot I didn't make a video to tell y'all what was going on um so yesterday was Wednesday which was our individual push competition and <laughs> excuse me I think there were um 11 or 12 females uh, two of us are rookies which were me and Bree uh the winner of the rookie push championships and like Placid so yesterday we did our three pushes and I ended up coming in third um which is really good. Uh, I forgot who came in first, but the two vet, two of the vets came in first, Olympians, you would imagine. Um, and then fifth place, no, fourth place was Lauren Gibbs, and then fifth place was Bree. Um, don't know who got six, and Lolo Jones got seven. So, yeah, so today, no, after that, they said that we were going to do combo pushes, which is what we're going to be working on today, tomorrow, and then I think Saturday is the combo push competition and what that means is the position that I'm doing is called the brake man position um, and then there's drivers so the combo will be a brake man with the driver so some drivers hit us up well hit me up last night and we're basically like well we want to practice with you tomorrow which is today um, and basically get timing and cadence and all that right so we can work on it and then compete on Saturday so that's just a quick update video as far as that I throw these Maybach keys I wear my heart on the sleeve I know if we the new slaves I see hey, the blood on hey, the leaves I see hey, the blood on hey, the leaves I see hey. the blood on the leaves I know that we the new slaves I see the blood on the leaves They throw it here that This is for the, sec the second one This is our Wendy's experience Like they give you this shit and put it in the car <laughs> This is fucking They want no parts Might as well go Alright, I guess they're ready Did it say what your total was? Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is you see this shit? Here, bruh. <laughs> hey, bruh. Take it back. <laughs> the large fries are the same size. When I was in Spain, the large fries were like the small fries. So I'm driving a mini bin right now. <laughs> You just got finished with practice. Mm -hmm. How was the fries? Fries are good. What up, vlog people? We are at Banff Map Park. About to go ride the gondola, which is gonna take us all the way up there. This idiot doesn't have a jacket or long pants. He has on shorts and slides. So these niggas left us to go in their own shit. Like that's why me and Bree gotta stick together. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because these niggas just don't give a fuck. The ride has begun. Where do you fuck the light is? Guess the light is this way. Nope, nope, oh, oh, there, there it is. Maybe I can get it this way too. Nope. I bet this place makes bank off of tourism. We are in Improvement District number nine. You know what that reminds me of? The motherfucking Hunger Games. So guys, how was it? It was freaking awesome, man. So now we're at the Sky House thing. It's a little 
brisk out here. Y'all can't see it, but it is fucking cold. Prepared. You see the snows on the ground. We are above yeah, yeah, ground. <laughs> I'm wasting my battery trying to call Lex so she can see this shit personally before y'all even saw it. But she doesn't want to answer shit. Ever. This is some bullshit. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that is disgusting. Miles just farted. This big nigga would stand up on the bench as if I'm not trying to take a motherfucking picture. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at you, goddammit. I can't show y'all everything because my phone is literally dying. Um, I think I'm on like 5% now. So I'm just going to turn it off and then hit y'all back up later. Real quick before it dies again, um, we're upstairs in the, the museum type area. Peace. I have completely given up on trying to contact Lex, so she will just see this on my vlog. Got some juice. Brie was holding out on me, but let me show y'all this view. Hold on, because it wraps all the way around. I realized that this is a better way to show y'all uh, the view. So let me uh, make this round real quick. Last round. There's a little town of Banaf. Run up here. And even this still does not do this any justice. Oh, about to strip down and get in a hundred degree water pool outside in the middle of the motherfucking mountains. <laughs> oh, they walked out in the pool. And uh, there's Ryan over there. Alright guys, I'm going to get off my phone and uh, enjoy this experience. So Brie, how's it feel? Yo, so it wasn't that bad y'all, it was actually really comfortable. And it's not cold as fuck when you're leaving the pool. Marco! So guys, how was it? <sighs> it's pretty amazing. Dylan? That was a good time. Awesome. Yep. Dylan fell in love. I did, so. <laughs> Miles? It was worth the seven dollars. Bree? My body needed it. Look at these creeps. Look at these Peeking guys. over the fucking balcony to look for the girls. They were stalking in the fucking pool. Hey, it's not called stalking. It's called trying to just yeah. look at her. <laughs> okay. This is the water, <laughs> and they were like this in the water. <laughs> Admiring from a distance. Finally ditched them when we left. She's probably looking for me right now. I need to go back down there. I agree. You should have made your move in the pool. I, no, I'm, I can't. I, All you yeah. have to say. I don't want this feeling to On the way to the first day of um, the combo push competition, about to go ham as best as possible <laughs> with that little knowledge. Right. <laughs>
We will stay tuned. Y'all, we're literally learning new shit every single day. Very we don't know until we get there how it works. It's very unorganized. <laughs> and there's nobody that would disagree with that statement. So I have no problem with saying it out loud. <laughs> Town in Calgary, y'all. So far, so good. We got the the rainbow on the street and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think we're in the middle of downtown. Look at this. They got a horse. It's cool. Why does this light skinned nigga have the light on his ass? Because like, so my brother could see me! Nigga, you, the light was on before you even started FaceTiming him! Uh, no, I had to call him back! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go sit by the gate, sit so we can be first. But ain't no seats over there. All right. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, we still a lot. Made it back to Charlotte and I'm hungry as fuck. I haven't seen you in a week, babe. Mm -hmm. mm. I need to get my eyebrows done before we turn up and go to New Mexico. You paying for mine? What? Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, 
again. Yeah, I'm back, back, back to the free, free, free. We are at the Airbnb house. Yeah. Say what's up. What's up? Say what's up. Hola, como esta? I'm in Canada, for those of you who do not know. So if you try to text me, I will not text you back because my phone is on airplane mode. So please hit me up on social media. I'll hit you back. Adventure time. We can't use no telling you what to work. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Ain't got no service. Driver's you know, I actually. Hold on, hold on. Hey! Oh, in style. Shout out to the restaurant for having Wi Fi. Like, free Wi Fi. This would take forever to be Learning how to use the chopsticks. Mmm. Mmm. Bruh, look how old and creepy this Walmart is. <laughs> What the fuck? The first Walmart we see looks like this. Bruh, do y'all see how big these fucking rabbits are? Like, yes. run, move! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Ryan Bailey is second to Nick. We're watching Ryan Bailey go. Yeah. This is Miles. Just got finished walking to the store. Met the nicest Indian dude ever. And you know what these Canadian people say to Americans when they find out that you're American? They're like, well, I hope you enjoy your time in Canada, da da da, and they all smile at you. I just find it ironic that people in other countries, you know, they think that we're uppity people, but the people within our country don't see us equally uppity. Me and all my niggas doing well, doing well, dawg. You not from the city, I could tell, I could tell, dawg. Did it? <laughs> All my niggas doing well, doing well, dawg. You not from the city, I could tell, I could tell, dawg. Did it, did it, did it by myself, by myself, dawg. I'm bad, dawg. Oh, you just went and turned your bad, dawg. Get a fresh cut straight out the salon, bitch. I know you're tired. I'm trying perfect. Hey, 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 yo, we made the Thanksgiving. So, hey. All right, snappers, we have made it to downtown Calgary. Where well, they have rainbows in the street. <laughs> Dun. Well, guys, my night out in Calgary is already starting off a thousand times better than my night out in Lake Placid. <laughs> All right, snap. We parked 7th Ave and Sin whatever, right on this road. But don't get it twisted, y'all. It's cold as a bitch out here. <laughs> Yeah.